So today I'm going to be teaching guys adding fractions with like denominators. Let's get started. Okay, so that's the example. Before we do this example, um, I'll tell you something. So in adding or subtracting fractions, we should always look if we have the same denominator in both the fractions, like this, 1 over 5 and 2 over 5. We both have the same denominators. So that's going to be easier. So we should never add or subtract the denominators. We should only add or subtract the um, numerators. So 5 and 5, we just keep that um, denominator the same. So we put 5 and then we add 1 plus 2, so three so the answer is three over five okay show you um some more examples okay 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 we have the same denominator so we put it as itself seven and then we have to add the numerator six plus one seven so seven over seven that equals one whole okay so now i'll show you another example so let's do this one eight over sixteen plus two over sixteen so we have the same denominator so that's going to go as itself. And we have to add the numerator. 8 plus 2, 10. We can still um, simplify these two um, numbers because they're uh, both even numbers. If you can simplify it, you should do it. Okay. So these two are divided by 2. So 16 divided by, 16 divided by two and then 10 divided by two so 10 divided by two that equals five and then 16 divided by two so that will be eight the answer is five over eight okay now let's see a mixed fraction example let's do one over 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. So the trick is for these types of questions is we, we can add up the holes first. There's only one hole in this one. So that's one hole plus whatever we get by adding these two fractions. Okay. What we can do is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. We have the same denominators, it will be 2, and then we have 1 plus 1 equals 2, so that equals 1. Okay, now we have to add that 1 to this one. Oh. So 1 whole plus 1 whole equals 2 holes. So 2 holes is the answer. Okay, now I'll show you some more, two more examples. the holes. So 4 plus 3, that will be 7. Now we have to add um, those two fractions. So let's use a different color. Okay, let's do 2 over 5 and then 1 over 5. Okay. So the denominator is 5. Keep it as itself. So 2 plus 1, that's 3. So that's 3 over 5. So we add 7 plus 3 over 5. 3 over 5. So that will be equals to 
seven. Three over five. Seven three over five. Seven three over five. Okay, I'll show you the last example. In this question, we can solve it in two ways. Here, I'll show you the first way first. So the first way is we have to um, add the holes. So one plus two is three, and then we have to simplify. I mean, add three over six plus five over six. So three over six plus five over six. So the denominator is the same, so it's gonna be as itself. Six, and then three plus five equals This is an improper fraction, and we can reduce that. So first, well, let's reduce it. Both of those numbers are even numbers. So we can divide both those numbers by two. So eight divided by two, four. And then six divided by two is three. Okay. Now we can convert it into mixed fraction. Okay, first let's divide it. Three goes into four one time. So three, and then we subtract that. Goes one. Okay. So we put the denominator as itself. We have the quotient as one. So that can be one whole. And then we have one as the reminder. So that can be the new, so that is the divider. Now we have to add one, one over three with three. So add one, one over three. Okay, so I'll write this question over here. One, one over three, okay. So we have to add up the holds first. So three plus one equals four, and then one over three. So four one over three. So that is the answer. Okay. Now show you the other way. Let's keep this answer for here. Okay, let's keep the answer right here. And look if we get the same answer when we do it with the other method. Just erase this. Okay, four, one over three. Okay. Okay, the other way is we can convert it, both those fractions into improper fraction and then we can convert it back into mixed fraction. I'll show you. So six times one is six and then six plus three is nine. So that's nine over six. Then Plus six times two, that's 12. And then 12 plus five, 17. That would be 17 over six. So we have the same denominator, so we can put it as itself. And then we have to add both those numerators. Nine plus 17, let's see. So that would be equal to 26. We can convert 26 over 6 into a um, mixed fraction, and we can reduce it. Let's do the reducing part first. Let's erase this. Okay. So 26 over 6. We can divide those. That doesn't show that. Okay, we can... We can divide those by two because both of those numbers are even numbers. So six divided by two, that's three. And 26 divided by, divided by two, that is 13. So 13 over two. Now we can convert it back into a mixed fraction. Okay, three times what number is closest to 13? Three times four is, that is 12. So four 
as the whole number, three as a denominator, we have that's as itself. Then we have a remainder one because thirteen we go down here. Four one over three. Do you have the same answer? Yeah, we have four one over three from the last answer. We did it in two methods and we got the same answer. So that's how you add fractions with like denominators. See you next time. Thanks for listening.